We're gonna harvest some uh, string beans and peas and then see what else is flowering and fruiting. I didn't show me spray, jet spraying everything before, but it just occurred to me that um, there are a few, but we have a few new elevators on board. So just so y'all know, one of my primary recommendations is to jet spray everything as clean as possible for, for those plants that can take it. You don't want to take a weak plant and jet spray it. You're going to knock it, oh, you're going to behead it and knock it dead right you don't do that but if you know your plant is established and strong enough to take a light jet spray or a strong shower how about that not the scent the center might be too strong too and especially the thin streams that might that might stab holes in your plant <laughs> that's a strong thin stream but anyway y'all know what i'm talking about as strong as the plant can take it jet spray it clean of everything you can imagine could be on there right because you're still not going to clean everything off but you're going to clean everything off that you possibly can so that you can avoid having to touch any critters i know it's ironic that some of you guys the the heebie-jeebies that these in, these these creatures give us but you know like how do y'all do it Ooh, well we just do it right and love it okay nothing it's all 100% good. Yin yang, bitches. My recommendation, my strong recommendation, if you are like me and don't want to, they, they try to test to see how friendly I am right now because they want to see if they can get in on the water when I put the water hose out. We, if we get to know her, maybe she's sweet. Maybe she won't run us off from the water hose when she water. <laughs> I know what they're doing. I don't know how I know what they're doing, but I know what they're doing. They're trying to ease on in. But the last time uh, when Robin was easing on in, she tried to get me to take care of her to raise her children, and I'm not gonna do it. That's right, this is the 3rd of July, which is, y'all gotta be careful what y'all say online sometimes. And sometimes it is, you just don't know the people. But sometimes it might not even have nothing to do with your audience. Al is always working, Al always taking notes. And what we don't understand is the capacity of its ability to combine random thoughts and ideas and activities and actions and interests and create your whole ass being. And if you're one of so many people who's already signed over your DNA to them, then the point at which they choose, of their choosing, Terminate your character in their simulation. I think I'm just interested in having around. They would have been got rid of me because I know too much. I say too much. It makes too much sense. But it doesn't matter because they've already colonized the whole world. So ain't nobody gonna listen to me no way. Okay. <laughs> and it's probably interesting to them for whichever ones are in charge of or spectate my life. It's probably interesting to see, for them to see my reaction, knowing what I know, and with watching everything unfold. It's also conflicting though, because I wanna do something. I wanna do something about it, but only what's under my control, and that's why they're not worried about me, because I'm only in control of what's in, under my control. <laughs> they got everybody else. But I'm thankful. I'm thankful that I, I crossed paths with, uh, I don't want to say my other half, because we both 100% with and without each other. But you know what I'm saying. Missed him. I'm thankful. I'm thankful to be enduring this shit with him. I can't imagine those of you who chose somebody don't, that don't love you to endure this shit with. Somebody that you don't even enjoy your personal time with, just sitting with. You can't just sit with them. Matter of fact, some of y'all are, your lives are in danger at the hands of the person you chose to, ooh. 
see? The sun just stabbed me right square in the back. And quite frankly, I should probably still be wearing a, a mask out here because it was only earlier in the week that we got our dose of the toxins that they're gassing us with. Now, I was going to feed everything, but actually, I'm not. I'm no longer concerned with feeding everything simply because we just got about two days of rain and Mother Nature, yeah, you know, you know. So, um, I don't have to worry about that. I appreciate her for handling that, but I just do still need to water the beds that have uh, undersides and drainage. So they'll probably, st they, they could still use some water. And I could skip, and actually I probably should because my pants also benefit from dr being, getting dried out a little. You know what, I think I'm gonna skip again. Let's work on me too, right? Except for these le the salad grains, I'm gonna drench the fuck out of them because I really need them to be more way more voluptuous than they been. <laughs> but um, yeah, so let me just spray these beans and harvest them. Sorry about the commercial. See, that's why don't nobody listen to the radio no more, right? Y'all gotta compete. Y'all, if y'all still trying to have the same commercials y'all had before, yeah, radio is gonna be extinct. I definitely want to water the mulberry tree I just successfully transplanted. Because who knows when I'll be able to get away with that again. And that way I'll know for sure I have fruit next year if I don't this year. For sure. Welcome. Uh, this is the herb bed. I'm not sure what uh, what all those roots belong to. I don't think it would be the stevia. I'm trying to see if I can grow that from a cutting. It's really hard to root. Oh, this is Rose. She's pretty happy. I should probably, I should actually harvest uh, a good 10 leaves or so off of her, but I don't feel like it. Here's the other okra. Oh, it might, it might survive. It might survive, yeah. Yeah, I put the okra in here, and then I ran my hand across the top, and I think I, I don't know, I just kind of stuck it back in there in the middle. And here's my... Hello, it's Moringa back there, cucumber, I think, I think this is a pole bean, I mean, uh, I think this is a long bean, I think that's also a long bean, I think, I should be doing the most in the middle, right, I might come and cut that down and pull the weeds that are wrapped around it, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. This is lamb's quarters that I wanted to be great. 
and it has done just that. Oh my goodness. The leaves got so nice in the shade because this is, this is a shady area. Hence the peas kind of liking it. Once I can get them to start, oh my god, the germination rate sucks. Uh, there's my trellis that gave, gave up the ghost. Mr. asked me about it. And he asked me naturally if I wanted him to make me something else. I love he so much. This is the brick bed. It's looking pretty nice. Yeah, looking pretty nice. It's buffy. Buffy. The carrots. Sweet red cherry peppers. All the peas. Moringa. Verbena. This okra still did not come up on its own. There's my zucchini fruit. There's the only surviving okra. <laughs> Where's y'all? Then, hey girl, bang. Get in there. I want her to grow inside this thing. Onions and garlic. String beans. I'll have a whole harvest of these tomorrow. Oh, whole, whole harvest of those tomorrow. I'm gonna stick another Kajari. I'm gonna just put two of them in there. Two Kajari seeds in there. My salad bed. Come on out of there. I'm taking them both out. It's getting too big now. Taking them too much. Fruit space. My salad bed. I have some replacement salad. So, as I was saying, this is my salad bed. I have the string beans. I have my kahunas at the end. Buffy being really great. She's super fly. She's super duper fly. This is my transplanted, successfully transplanted mulberry. I didn't waste any time taking that from ground to Mm -mm. White flies, y'all. She might need to get moved. I don't know though. Let's see. <gasps> oh shit. Are y'all okay? Oh my god. Y'all, they're loving it. You know what though? This might just be their season because if I if I. It, I noticed that the other ones are popping up as well on the side. Matter of fact, I'm going to go get my other two Kajari seeds and stick them in that planter. Me some bitches are loving it. Bro. Okay, all these are all the tomatoes that are just doing the most. Being re They restricted the most and doing the most to stay unrestricted. So, I don't... This brandy... <laughs> This is Sunny, and she's in a teeny weeny little cup. And this is like, this is like by five of them in a whole milk jug. They wouldn't do anything the whole time I needed them to come through early, but when it's their season, they show up and do exactly whatever they want to do and nothing can stop them. Uh, string beans, there's a whole heap of these ready. A whole heap of these are ready. Oh, this is Hazel. I could take four of her leaves, put them in four or five, and be good, but I'm going to let her enjoy this uh, natural rain. This is Jimmy. Jimmy's enjoying the, the natural rain of the bars. I think I'm going to take her inside, maybe plant some more and see what they're talking about. That's Candy. And she is full of fruit everywhere. I'm talking about everywhere. If this plant is nothing, she is productive as AF. And this is why I struggled to cut these side branches when I when I was talking about it. It's because I knew they would all produce fruit. So that's gonna look like a little tiny little Christmas tree. Bro. The phone stopped recording when I started talking about the reason why I started coming out in a ninja outfit. 
with my hair, ears, and now all of my skin covered as well as wearing a mask. That is now my garden gear. But anyway, I definitely want, I was expressing to him that I was still in the, I don't know if you, you caught that part before it got cut off, but I was expressing, he was like, are you still in here? And I was in the closet because I was telling him I'm looking for a long sleeve blouse because I don't like to go out in the garden with my skin out anymore. And he was like, oh, well, I didn't like you going out anyway because people are still getting sun poisoned. So at the end of the day, we agree that I don't need to be out here with my skin exposed. And I want to keep my hair, ears, and skin covered and wear a mask because I live in, in America. And so I'm growing because I want to be as organic as possible to fight the genocide that is actively engaged upon us. So yeah, this was, um, I hope I showed y'all my mulberry that I successfully rooted. But again, I might have to scoot skedaddle that on over to the other corner cause nope. Nope to white flies. I might come throw even more seeds out here, y'all. What is going on? Or rather not going on. Jeez. I'm going to put that whole fucking pack out here. Whatever. Whatever, right? I'm going to come cast the rest of those seeds. Because that's just such a thing. Anyway, this is hazel. Like I said, I could probably stand to harvest a good four of them leaves. And she'll be good. But... I want to leave her out here and let her enjoy the natural rain. None of these babies have experienced it to, on this, to, to this extent before. Uh, string beans, again. They're ready. They're ready for harvest. But not today. I'm going to do that tomorrow. This is jolly. She's still getting bigger. They say her leaves could get up to two feet long. I might, uh, and, and uh, I, I think I'm, I so sub, think I'm subconsciously try, trying to let this one get that big to see if it will. Cause normally I would be just harvesting these as they develop. But I want to see how big they're gonna, it's gonna get. And I think that is probably the way to get the fattest cuttings too when you're going to start taking cuttings I hope I didn't get a vine borer I don't think I did I don't even know what it looks like or what to look like this is jolly my dear jolly the cabbage cabbage worms are fucking it up this is Joshua jolly I'm hoping she's giving us babies on the side here. I'm hoping it's a baby Sometimes I call myself leaving the affected uh, leaves to give the worm something to munch on so that it can leave the, the nice leaves alone. But I don't even know if that helps because those son of bitches gonna go where they wanna go and destroy what they wanna destroy. And their preference is ideally gonna be always the tender, <laughs> as Nikki would say, y'all get tender leaves so you know, I'm just going to take that nasty leaf off so all the energy can go into the next oncoming branch so get more string beans y'all know what the side dish going to be tomorrow huh my green jar I want to remove this leaf but I don't know if I should just yet I want to move this one move this one as well I think I will. I think I will right now. Will you just break off? Okay. Let me move this one as well. So, hopefully that's fine. Look how pretty this flower is. Oh my God. Plum diddly foo. She coming out of this cage. Whether we like it or not. I'm so nuts. 
you want the world to me. I trust the things to go down like they're supposed to dance. Go down. Murphy. Maybe I could go ahead and harvest these uh, leaves here. 